local school teacher arrested over the weekend is accused of drug trafficking. Police say the amount of fentanyl found in her car is an amount a dealer would have. West 2's Dave McDaniel live at the Sanford Police Department where this investigation is ongoing. Dave. Well, right now there is no accusation of any wrongdoing at the school where this teacher actually was employed. But again, the drugs, the amount of drugs found in her car, according to police, is disturbing. Just to represent you, you've been charged with trafficking and fentanyl. 38-year-old Siobhan Pearson, a reading teacher with Seminole County, was arrested early Saturday morning. We received a 911 call that a female driver pointed a firearm at the 911 caller. Police say they didn't find anything at the scene, but pulled over a similar car with no taillights on. The officers immediately observed a um, cannabis blunt in the plain sight. And then after a search, some white powder tested with a positive result for fentanyl eight grams, double the amount to qualify as trafficking. It's a large amount of fentanyl, and we know that fentanyl can be lethal, so it's very concerning um, for her and her occupation to be in possession of that much fentanyl. Pearson is a teacher with 16 years experience in Seminole County, currently teaching at the Seminole High Ninth Grade Center. The district said in an email, Ms. Pearson was immediately placed on administrative leave pending the results of the investigation and that there is no evidence of campus involvement. However, we are working closely with Sanford Police. We don't have any information or evidence to indicate that that is something that she has brought to campus or you know anything, any kind of drug transactions occurred on campus. In the report, Pearson said she had a man with her in the car earlier, and she stated that she was set up by said person, according to the report. Police say there's no evidence of any setup and that teachers are people that we put in as parents in positions of trust and she has absolutely breached that trust. And as police searched that car, they did find a gun, but it was a gun that Pearson said she had a permit for. She was released from the Seminole County Jail Sunday afternoon on a $15,000 bond. Reporting live in Sanford, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News.